All right, let's get it. on what's up facebook and youtube surprise hey bishop blake surprise surprise instagram i know y'all are not used to me coming live on a thursday night but we are in high press for shiro's league conference you guys can you believe that in less than seven days all the things that you've been hearing have been building up for, uh, we're live. And we're almost close to the conference, April 24th through the 27th. It's happening. Uh, Liana, I think I made you, I'm going to try to add, no, I added you as a moderator. I think that should be. Let me know if you got it. Um, Y'all. Where are, you, where are you checking in from? Go ahead and share this. Tonight's going to be real good. I get to share a couple things with you all tonight that I'm super excited about. Um, and so, yeah, it's going to be a good night. We're going to just chat. It's so many great things that are happening. Like uh, Bishop Blake says he's super excited about She Rose League. So am I. The building is being transformed already i know normally i wait till like that monday uh, but we're already transforming the building hey pastor vincent y'all been fishing and caught a whole lot of fish today my dad went fishing y'all know i don't do fishing trips jamaica is watching uh but like and share this tonight we're going to talk about development because you have to develop so that you can be ready for what God has in store for you. So I want to just talk tonight about being on a path of growth and development, being on that path for growth and development. Um, there we go. Yeah. Got it. Um, and then Lee on it, if you will put in how to register. Y'all, I'm so close to hitting my next marker that I think we can do it tonight. Uh, if you have not registered for She Rose League, whether it's in person or virtual, let me tell you, you should register. I would show y'all a sneak peek of the registration bag, but I want y'all to wait and trust me that the bag is amazing. The products, the new products that we're going to be launching are great. Um, yeah, it's such a buzz around the building. So if you follow me on Instagram, let me just give some She Rose League stuff. And if you haven't registered, go register April 24th through the 27th here in Houston, Texas is happening. Um, put a three in the comments. Hey, Miss Beverly, put a three in the comments. Um so that you can get the registration information. There's a discount code tonight, SL10, SL10, and you get 10% off. But y'all, help me hit my goal tonight. Maybe you'll sponsor somebody or uh, think of somebody that you know should be in the building. Can I break it down for you all? Because I'm so excited, y'all. I'm like really, really excited. I'm excited and I'm, I'm calm. Like I, and I think that's, that's what we're going to get into in just a moment, that development. I've noticed just how I've developed over the years in preparation. And it's something about this year that while I have some, I, I want everything to be perfect. There is a sense of it is well, a peace and excitement that has flooded my heart and my life right now. 
Uh, if you don't watch it on YouTube, I don't think the three works. So just go to SheRoseLeague.com to register and remember to use the code SL10. So let me break She Rose League down for those of you. Of course, the theme this year is She's Bold and really stepping into the full boldness of who you are. Wednesday night, we're going to start off with prayer and worship. We've got Jamie Perry, who is a violinist in the city that is absolutely amazing. Sharon Ann, Candy West, Pastor Prashia, Latrice Ryan. That night, just come ready. I, I'm, I told the staff today, just come ready for prayer. Uh, Thursday morning, we've got Bishop R.C. Blakes. We've got the men's panel with Pastor YPJ, uh, Pastor Evan Connor, and Anthony O'Neill. I'm going to get y'all to help me tonight because I need to know some questions that y'all have for this panel. Our discussion for the panel is going to be can you handle her BBL? Now, some people were a little upset by that, but the reality is I want to know, can men today handle her business, her body, and her love? How do we do this thing and make it work? Then um, Bishop R.C. Blakes is going to preach, um, and he's going to, I am I told him, I just want him to do, I want him to do all the queenology and bless us really good and flow and then I want to do, then Thursday night is Dr. Dee Dee Freeman. Friday morning is the women's panel. We're going to be talking about the BBL effect. Like what happens when you're walking in the fullness of who you are in your business, in your body, and in your love. Um, and love was absolutely amazing yesterday for Lunchtime Live. Um, that's going to be a real dialogue. Um we have to have the real conversation in the church. And so uh, we're going to be talking about that. Uh, then Jersey's in the house tonight. So glad to have you. And then Nicole Crank is going to minister. And then Friday night, I'll be preaching. You don't want to miss a session. You want to be locked in. If you can't get to Houston, it is worth the registration because even 90 days after, you'll still be able to watch. Uh, what's happening. So if you haven't registered, go register, put a three in the comments. I'm looking while we're on live. Yep. I'm multitasking because I've got a goal that I want to hit tonight, 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 tonight. I've got a goal that I want to hit. Now let's get to this good old brunch. Mm -hmm. Who has their ticket for the brunch? Put a hand raised in the comments. If you have your ticket for the brunch, because if you don't have your ticket for the brunch, I see Miss Vicky says she got her VIP. If you don't have your ticket for the brunch, I want you to know right now you're missing out. You're missing out. Rearrange your schedule. Call your girlfriends. Call your homegirls. You need to be here. Did y'all see the video from Tisha Campbell? Like, Tisha Campbell did a video for me. <laughs> When I got it, I was so, so excited. So it's the real deal, baby. She going to be in the building. Mm -hmm. We're talking about it all. We're going to chop it up. We're going to talk about life. We're going to talk about love. Ms. Vicky says, my daughter is so excited. Like, she's going to be there. And y'all can see by the video, she's so excited to be in the house. But let me just tell y'all, we're going to eat good. We're going to drink good. We're going to have a good girl time. I hope you got your cute brunch outfit, baby, because the brunch is where it's at. And then the photo ops the brunch that you're going to want to take a picture and you're going to want to put it on your profile and you're going to want to let everybody know that you have been brunching at She Rose League because your foot officially brushed with boldness. Miss Lisa says, I can't wait. I can't wait either. Uh, Miss Vicky says, she's ready. If you are ready for the brunch, put she's ready or he's ready because I know it's going to be some men up in there. It's going to be so dope. And let me just tell you, oh, the team wants me to tell you the menu because I don't know. See, y'all don't realize I'm a foodie and I love to eat. And so for the food, my team would probably, my, my accounting team would probably get on me because I have pressed the envelope because I want you all to have the best of the best. 
chicken and waffles, fish and grits, bacon, because it's brunch. So we got to have all kinds of food, bacon, chicken sausage, eggs, a whole breakfast dessert bread, honey butter croissants. I mean, you name it, we're going to have it. Salad, arugula and watermelon salad. Mm hmm. Um. What else are we having? Uh. Then the mocktails. Oh, y'all not ready? I'm not gonna tell y'all all the mocktails. You just gotta come and be cute and be ready. And somebody said mimosas, brunch, and not have some sparkly something. Now y'all know it's all alcohol free. But baby, we are gonna eat good. We're going to celebrate good, and uh, it's going to be a good, good time. You hear me? It's going to be a good, good time. So if you haven't got, yes, yeah, somebody said full spread, absolutely full spread, you will not leave there hungry. And you said, well, Pastor, I don't eat meat. Do you know Pastor has hired an entire vegan cater for all the vegans. Now, this is not for those of you who want to try out and taste it, but these are for my real true vegans. Shout out to Pastor Treasure. And so for every option that we have for meat eaters, I should say it like that. My children probably hate that I said it like that. But um, for every option that we have for those who eat animal products, we have a vegan option. So we've got a vegan option of what chicken and waffles is like. We've got vegan frittatas. We've got vegan. It's a whole vegan setup. So we'll have our setup because y'all know a girl likes to eat food. And then we'll have a plant base. I should say that plant base entire spread. So if you were thinking, oh, I want to go, but I don't want to pay the money because they're not going to have no food that I like. Let me tell you, I got food that you're going to like. It's going to be lit. It's going to be a whole situation. The DJ will be there. The fun will be happening. Get yourselves together and get your mind ready. It's on SheRoseLeague.com. Go get your ticket. Take advantage of the discount, FL10. So the, here are the levels. Elite is just the conference only. Um, echelon, you say, I'm going to do the conference. I'm going to do the brunch. Pastor, I am hanging with you. Uh, if you say, I have to work that week and I just want to do the brunch on Saturday, that's the experience. There are different prices for each level. And Emma... Maybe your first time here, it's all happening in Houston, Texas. I see my nieces on. My niece is coming from Jacksonville, Florida to be in the building. Um, we got you covered. Miss Vicky, are you plant-based? I didn't know if you were plant-based, but it's happening in Houston, Texas. Uh, it is our brunch will be at our south location, and the conference is at our north location. The brunch is happening on April 27th. So we're going to start Wednesday with prayer, Thursday morning session, Thursday evening session, Friday morning, Friday night. All of that is at the north. And then Saturday, we head to our south location, Fondren Road. You have to have a ticket to get in. Brunch with the girls and guys. Because, you know, you listen, my whole team is going to be there. They all, listen, I had to get another table. Like I purchased table for my team, some of my team members. Uh, but my my the guys are like, no, we're coming to the brunch. The, the guys are going to be in there for the brunch. So it's going to be a good time. We're going to have a great time. Callie will be in the building. Come on, Rochelle. It's hanging with me. I'm looking forward to you all hanging on uh, next week, y'all. Next week. Uh, thank you for my, thank you, Steph. Uh, it's been in my closet. Uh um, somebody mentioned earlier my whole transformation. Uh, my Udi, shout out to Udi. Uh, he bought this and then he'll buy stuff and then oh, I don't like it anymore. So I just decided today I was going to wear it because it's set in the closet. Oh, y'all want to talk about closets? Hold on. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. A girl has cleaned out her closet. 
and you get to shop my closet at She Rose League if you're registered for a fee, of course. But I got some goodies, sunglasses, jewelry, clothes. I may throw a couple purses in there, but it's going to be amazing. So if you like the Shop My Closet from 2022, yeah, 2022, because I didn't do it last year, you're going to love Shop My Closet this year. I wouldn't miss She Rose League if I was you. Jazz, my sister, I call my friends and my baby sister, my play sister, like, hey, you got to get here. She's going to be in the building. Got my closet clean this week. I'm ready to fill it up. I love it. We are bringing out the pieces. I got a couple pair of shoes in there. Uh, what is Shop My Closet? So I can give y'all a heads up. Shop My Closet, you pay them out, you go in, you got a time limit, and whatever you can put in the bag provided. Is what you get to keep. There is a virtual option. There's a virtual option. You get the conference sessions with the virtual option, and then you get to um, you get to watch it for ninety days. My sister Danielle Murphy says, "Looking forward to next week, y'all." And the building. Ooh, I'm just so hyped. For, okay. I'm gonna get into my nuggets for y'all tonight because I got some nuggets. I, I got a they're saying this is too good. It it really is, it's too good. Uh, we got some speakers that are bringing some things. It's just it's at a whole nother level, and I am super, super excited about it. Tonight, I want to talk to you about something. I want to talk to you about for the next few moments. I'm not gonna keep you long. Um I want to talk to you tonight about development. How many of you have enjoyed the Shiro behind the Shiro? Have y'all seen those? The Shiro behind the Shiro. So the first, I think we've, uh, how many, I think we've released five or six episodes of the Shiro behind the Shiro's. If you've watched it, put a thumbs up, put a hand raised. Uh, tell me your favorite one. Put it, put real what your favorite episode is because really the she row behind the she row is me giving you all a peek into my growth and my development. So, which one has been your favorite one? So, the first one, it just kind of started off with talking about, I think, I got to remember, uh, we talked about scrutiny and growing up and being an awkward teenager. Uh, the Shiro behind the Shiro's, they're located on my Instagram, Shiro's League Instagram, as well as Pastor Irish's Facebook page. So you got to go check it out. Joe, Joe, Joe has done an amazing job of editing. Uh, Liana, the team, I mean, the team has just come together. We are pulling out all the stops. Uh, they've got a sneak peek at the next one. I haven't seen the next one. So uh, she said the fa her favorite one is the next one that's coming out. Sharon Ann is in the building. Uh, she's going to be with us on Wednesday. I can't wait. And I have made a personal request. I want the drum. I want her to give it all to us. I had an opportunity to be blessed by the ministry of Sharon Ann at a women's conference that I went to. And when I was planning and praying about who to add to the lineup this year, Sharon Ann was an absolute must. And so thank you for accepting the invitation. We can hardly wait to have you next week. So Lisa says the one about sisterhood, uh, navigating as a single mom, and the one about 21 you versus the now you, uh, the one that you talked about being pregnant with Ivan, who uh, I don't know why I'm all getting all emotional and we're just talking about what they were, the topics were on. What that whole thing really is about is me taking you on my journey of development. And I am, the drum is coming. Come on, Sharon Ann. They're not ready for it. They're not ready for it. I just want, they're not ready for that worship that's going to happen on um, Wednesday. Just, just carve me out of space somewhere in that building and let me just lay out. <laughs> just, 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 I'm going to lay out. Um, but to give you some nuggets tonight, it's really about me choosing to develop. 
I'm so grateful for growth. I can look back over my life and at every point it's been the growth. And Ms. Deborah just said it. I'm grateful that I can be transparent and talk about it. But I want to talk to you about development because God has another level for you. And really, that's why I've been encouraging you to come. Gucci wants to get in on the conversation. Y'all know he hardly ever barks. Gucci, be quiet. Somebody must be walking around. Y'all don't know I have a dog, but I do. And he wants to be a part of our conversation tonight. But development is a purposeful activity to bring something into being. And there's another level that God has for you. And it's going to require, in order to receive it, it requires development. It requires you to develop and grow to the next level. And a lot of times, what is the code? Because I'm upgrading my ticket now. Uh, the code is SL10. SL10, uh, Miss Wanda, go ahead. Um, my journey of development has not always been easy, but it has been necessary. And when I look back on it, I'm grateful for it. I can remember 2015, and I don't know if I talk about this in the video, but 2015, I wrote in my journal at the top of the year that God grow me up, that it, I wanted that year to be a year of growth. Ooh. And it was a hard year, but it was a necessary year because what came after that year, had I not gone through 2020, 2015, I would not have been ready for it. And so I know that there's another level for you. And that's why I'm really saying get to She Rose League. There's another level of boldness that God has for you. There's another level of ingenuity that God has for you. And it requires development. See, a lot of times when we're in trying seasons, we don't see the purpose of the next level in that season. We just see what we don't like. We see the discomfort, but you have to understand we go from faith to faith and glory to glory. And uh, my mother makes a statement that a lesson unlearned must be repeated. So anytime I find myself in challenging situations, I always say, God, what is the lesson so that I don't have to repeat this course again? And so your development is critical to the call of God on your life. You know, just like I said on one of the videos that 46-year-old Irisha wouldn't have made the decision that 21-year-old Irisha made. The decisions that I'm making now concerning ministry in my life, I had to develop to get to this place where I'm at a place in my life right now where I am obeying God without reservation or hesitation. And even when it seems uncomfortable to other people or other people may not understand it, I've reached a place that I understand fully that obedience to God is always, it may be uncomfortable, but that discomfort is temporary and there's always a next level. And so I want to give you seven principles for development tonight, because I believe, how many of you feel like you're on a path of when you know God has another level. Y'all know y'all got to interact with me. Deetra, I saw that you're coming. And girl, you know I can't wait till you get here. I can't wait till you get here. It's going to be like old times. Um, but I, how many really feel like you're like you're moving to the next? Like there's another level. Man, looking back at those videos, like... Even when it comes to the sisterhood, I can see my growth and development. When it comes to me being a mom, I can see my growth and development. When it comes to me being a pastor, I can see the growth and development. And I've always, it's not comfortable. But when you learn and you obey God's voice, the reward shows up. So let's talk about this because I got to give this to you real quick. You register, Cynthia, um, at sheroseleague.com. I'm telling y'all the word at She Rose League Conference is going to be life changing. It is the environment for you to develop. And I don't care how old you are or young you are. God has another level in store for you. And man, when I tell you I am, I'm making some big moves right now. I'm making some big decisions professionally, personally, but had I not developed, 
I would not have the strength of character to make the decisions and take the bold steps that God is asking me to take. I mean, there are some, there is a monumental shift happening in my ministry right now, not just with She Rose Lee, but with New Light Church. And when God says now is the time, you don't have time to get ready. You have to be ready. So I'm so grateful for the development over the years. So at this point in my life, when God is saying, obey me, even though others may not understand it, obey me because this is the instructions that I have for your life. Step out on faith, uh, leave from what's familiar and comfortable. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm still in New Light Church. But but sometimes we can get so used to what's comfortable and familiar that we won't take the bold step of obedience when God has a whole nother level connected to that. So the first thing that happens in the in your development process, number one is desire. See, that is why you need to be at She Rose League Conference because desire is the product of association. When you're associating and connected to the right people, then they're going to, there's a desire that's awakened in you. You know, I realized, um, it's almost like desire is kind of like, I'm going I'm to step out with this illustration that I, I'm getting the download of, of it. But desire is similar to your algorithm. That when your algorithm hears you say something, knows that you're doing something, then it starts popping up all these things that are connected to it. So because I am having meetings about decor and event planning, and I've been looking at pictures all on my timeline are these suggestions of ideas of flowers and decor, because now it's, it's now it, that desire, it heard that there's I'm looking. And so now the algorithm is showing me those things that are connected to my desire, that are connected to what I'm talking about, what I'm seeing. So your desire is sparked by your association. I said it's the product of association, but it's also sparked by your association. See, you can't hang around low level people thinking you're going to get next level results. I got to pause right there. You can't keep hanging around low level people thinking that you're going to get next level results. You've got to get an environment of people that will spark another level of desire. I remember when I decide, decided to change, to lose weight and to change my outward appearance. It first started on the inside, but I had to get around people who had a different eye for fashion and had a different eye. And so I started making sure I was associated with people that were sparking this desire for outward transformation and inward transformation in my life. So you got to make sure that your desires are also anchored in what God has for your life. Your desires have to be anchored in what God has for your life. Number two is your decision. The decision is the product of the situation that you're in. You can either stay stuck where you are now, or you can make a decision that I'm going to the next level. See, many times we let our pride keep us from moving forward. We let our comfort keep us moving to the next level. We let what's easy stop us, but you've got to decide. I'm, I'm making a decision today that I want better for my life. And that decision then drives me to a place of determination. That decision drives me to another level, to a course of action. That decision is the product of the will to succeed. That determination is the product of the will to succeed. So I move from desire to decision to determination. I remember I was sitting in a meeting um, with my mom. I was getting ready to turn 40 and we were sitting in a budget meeting and I joked about it. I said, see, this goes back to association and being around the right people because I was sitting in the meeting and I joked about, I said, I was going to school for this. I, I almost had a degree for accounting. And in that moment, my mom said, you should go back. I said, I 
should go back to school and get my degree. It was right. I was maybe about 38, 39. I was like, I should go back and get my degree before I turn 40. Well, what happened, and I'm going to talk to you about this point later, is that that, does, that it sparked a desire in me to go back and finish my degree. I made a decision that I was going to go back to school, and there was a determination that caught, that anchored me to keep pressing even when it became difficult. Here's the next one. I had to have some discipline. I had to enforce some obedience. I started back in school, I think around 2016. And although I wanted to finish by 2017, I took a break for my 40th birthday. And then the baton was passed for the church to me in 2018. But I had such a discipline and a determination that I would finish preaching on Sunday because if you've ever taken an online class, most of the time your work is due on Sunday. And then uh, Pastor Danielle can relate to this. And so I had to preach two services, eat, and then I would be at my computer because I had to have my work turned in before midnight that Sunday night. But I had such an enforced obedience that nothing could distract me in that season. So we've got desire, we've got decision, we have determination, and then we have discipline. Here's the one that I, I was about to jump to, but I'm going to pick it up right now. And that is discovery. And that is the product of consistent applied discipline. But see, you've got to discover and you've got to do some research. So I went back and I realized that my credits were still good from college, that I was about 25 maybe, maybe about 30 hours. I think I was about 30 hours away from my degree. I was about 30 hours away from my degree that I had stopped school 30 hours short of a bachelor's degree. Now, mind you, I had an honorary doctor degree and that's great, but I wanted to develop and check that off a list of a, it was once in an uncompleted category. I wanted to move it to a completed category. So I had to do some discovery. I went back and I got my school records. I realized that if I went back to the school that I had stopped at, that my credits would automatically reactivate. Now I'm not as far along as I thought I, I'm not as far back as I thought I was. I'm further closer to my journey and my destination than I thought I was. So I discovered that this could be done. How can this be done? And I started breaking it up. I took so many hours. I first started taking, you know, like two classes a semester and then three classes a semester. And then that last, I had this push at the end. I had this push and this desire to finish at the end. And so I made a decision at the very end that last semester, I took 50 hours the last semester, but I knew I needed to get it done. And I'm so grateful that I did because that opened the door for another thing that I wanted to complete. And had I not taken those 15 hours and finished when I finished, I wouldn't have been able to walk in that next dream fulfillment. See, development helps you accomplish the dreams that either are God inspired or just desires of your heart. Is preaching good tonight and did not plan to get on here and do all this. But see, your development brings you into, into the uh access of those dreams that you that those dreams that you have for your life. See, when you are being developed, you will accomplish the dreams that you set out to accomplish. So development is how you manifest the dreams, whether they're God-inspired or just the desires of your heart. Then the next part is delight, and that's the product of enjoyment. I am a better person today because I went through the process of development. Um, the other night we were somewhere, we were having a, a vision meeting, and one, uh, somebody stood up and said, I didn't like you at first. And, and I think everybody thought I would be offended by it, but I wasn't likable in a season of my life. Can we just be honest? I wasn't likable. I had a bad attitude. I was nice, nasty. I was distant. I had put out there like, don't touch me, don't hug me. I wasn't likable. 
But in order for me to be the pastor that God called me to be, in order for me to be the woman that God called me to be, the mom that God called me to be, the friend that God called me to be, I had to develop in my attitude. I had to develop in my temperance. I had to develop in letting go of what I felt like people had betrayed me so that I could delight in meaningful relationships. And so when the person said, I don't really like you at first, but now I, you know, I, I, I'm with you. I, I stand with you. I, I, I'm going to cover you. I'm going to look out for you because I was willing to develop and you reach the place of delight where the product of what you pursue you get that enjoyment. You get the affirmation that, that people take notice of the, the work that you put in. And then there's the development. There's the product of Christian maturity where you are seeing the fruit of your labor. I am so grateful. I thank God for every season of my life. And I, I make a point not to live with regrets, but I do make a point to say, God, I thank you for the patience that he has had with me over the years so that I can develop into the woman that God has called me to be. I am not who I used to be. And I can say that with confidence, but because I chose to embrace the, the, the development process over the comfort of my current predicament. Because change requires you to put forth some purposeful effort. That's my nugget for y'all tonight. I hope it blessed you all. Uh, the Thelma Muse, uh, the Muse Studio or Thelma Muse Studio. Uh, register virtual so you don't miss out and you can go back and watch it. So make sure that you do that. I hope that blessed y'all tonight. I am on an ever path of development. And every year I set out like, Lord, I want to grow in some area of my life. I want to grow in, you know, me and my my best friend were having lunch the other day and we were talking about um, where we are. I'll be 47 this year. And she was like, do you feel like you've accomplished or are you good with where you are at 46? And I'm like, yeah, I can see my growth and development. I can see that things that used to make me panic or uncomfortable, I've grown from that. Um, and so at 47, I'm excited about that journey. And I'm like, girl, we're getting closer to 50. And I'm looking forward to every year getting better and better and better. And uh, thank you all. I see your comments. I like that your transparency is a great example to us. And the Bible says really that that's how we overcome by the blood of the lamb, but by the word of our testimony. And I thank you all that are connected with us, that you allow me to be transparently me, that many of those of you who are connected, maybe because you've watched my mother, you've watched my father, and you don't put me in a box to be the carbon copy of them, but you are open to receive the sprinkles of their impact in my life. Somebody asked me the other day, who are you more like, your mom or your dad? I'm like, I'm a, I'm a blend. I'm a blend of the both of them. And I thank you, New Life, for allowing me to develop and trusting the God in me as I'm developing. And uh, we've God's got some great things in store for us. Here's what I want to share with y'all. Tomorrow night, I will be on with my mom. I don't know if they have this. And I see y'all have a couple questions. So I'm going to answer your questions real quick before we get off. Tomorrow night, I'm going to be on my mom. She started a new, she's jumped into the virtual world with us. And she started a new show called Wow Connections. I think that's what it's called. And she asked me to be on there with her tomorrow. And tomorrow, we're going to be talking about how to make the best of a bad situation. So make sure that you tune in and join. It'll be on Facebook and YouTube only for my Instagram people. So make sure that you join uh, those words of wisdom with Pastor Bridget. It's going to be absolutely amazing at 8 o'clock p.m. I'm excited to join her with that. Uh, I see y'all have a couple questions. So I'm going to answer some questions real quick. Somebody asked the question, when does the new video drop? I don't know. So somebody on the team, because I haven't seen the new video. I think they're working on it. Uh, I don't know. So look out maybe tomorrow or maybe Saturday. I don't know. 
uh, Joe or tomorrow, y'all tomorrow. So look out for it tomorrow. The new, the next video drops tomorrow. Um, shout out Roku to the bros, Ron O'Neill. Um, of course, Coleman Love always. Oh, uh, let's see. Thank you, Miss Barry. Uh, thank y'all. I love your transparency. It's setting many free. That's all I can do. Uh, it's going to be good tomorrow. Danielle, you all set the bar high um, with the, the first introduction to uh, the Wild Connection on last month. Was it? No, earlier this month, April 5th, I think. Um, so it's going to be great. Uh, I am excited, y'all. I am praying that you allow God to develop you. It is not women in white. See, mommy's going to get you. It is one <laughs> words of wisdom. It is at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Such a mess. 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. It is words of wisdom with Pastor B. Okay. Um, y'all, let's see what else I have for y'all tonight. I think that's about it. I think that's about it. Y'all not asking me any questions. Uh, somebody said, what time is that? But it's been good. And I've enjoyed hanging out with y'all. They're laughing at you, uh, Jason White Co. How about that? Uh, for that <laughs> women in white. I'm going to tell them all. <laughs> all right, y'all. This has been really good. Y'all are telling I started out with Apostle 2008 when he came to Cali to preach at Pastor Wilkes and have been connected ever since. It felt good to hear how you all have been connected with us over the years um, and stay connected. Y'all, again, if you're just now coming on and you have been living under a rock, she Rose League Conference is happening next week, April 24th through the 27th. Night of prayer, first night, um, Thursday morning, Thursday night, Friday morning, Friday night. Wear your good shoes that you can worship God in because this is going to be real. It's going to be worship. It's going to be an encounter, but you're going to walk away with some tools. Like I don't, I don't want us to just have a we feel good and we didn't cry and we don't have principles to change our lives. I want to make sure that you have principles that can change your life. Do those who register for the virtual Shiro's receive a goodie bag as well? At this time, no, but I have, I'm processing and I'm going to need to talk to my team that there may be an option for you to select if you would like it shipped at a discount where you would just pay the shipping for it. So we may do that after the conference where you can get it and it you just you may have to cover the shipping of it because we didn't factor in the shipping to our virtual audience. Yes, it's virtual. Uh, select the elite virtual option. Um, but y'all get ready. The the flyness is on overload. Uh, Tina says, I'll pay for delivery and pay the difference. When I tell you if I could show y'all what it is, you would register just for it. Uh, Helen says, she's a West Side baby. We're rolling with you, Dr. I, I appreciate it. I'm so ready for next week. Uh, it's going to be great. Uh, I think I've covered everything tonight. I just wanted y'all, I want to talk to y'all about the conference, give you some nuggets. Um, but register and maybe you can't come sponsor somebody. Uh, you can do that. Be a blessing to somebody. Um, uh, yeah, Yolanda Adams was there last year. Uh, Yolanda's like an auntie mom to me, so she may just show up <laughs> at an event. Um, so I haven't fully looked at the list because there are some people and some friends that just show up. Cynthia says, I registered last year and became sick and did not attend and never got my bag either. Yes, yeah, so you got to be there because there's the shipping, but I've already been thinking about it because I know once y'all see it on the virtual platform and y'all see the bag, you're going to want the bag. I already know that's what's going to happen. So I'm working it out. Okay. Uh, oh, you sponsored your daughter. She loves Mark. When I tell you Tisha's so ready to come and, uh, you know, I think she's got people coming to be with her as well. Everybody, if the hottest ticket in town, 
I know there's a lot happening in Houston, but let me tell you, you cannot get all that you're going to get at She Rose League for the price at these other places. So it's some stuff happening in the city that we not going to deny that because Houston is popping. That's what we do. But your investment is more than just a day. You're getting days of work that you can go back and listen to and dialogue and interaction. And I can just tell y'all for the brunch, literally, it is the food, the experience. I, I just... I, I went overboard as I always do, but I declare the budget is met. Y'all just be in agreement with me for that, that. The budget is met in the overflow because I want you to have a first class experience. Experience and exposure elevates your life. I'll leave it at that. Um, do you get a bag if you register for the brunch only? No, you don't get a bag if you register for the brunch on me. I don't think so. Y'all, I'm going to get off here because y'all are trying to now talk me into stuff. No, I don't think you get a bag if you register for the brunch only. Um, yeah, but we'll see. Because y'all know I'll end up giving y'all stuff and then the team is looking at me like, what are you doing? Um, so, yeah. Listen, come on and move to Houston, Tina. It's where it's happening. My birthday is in June. June 7th is my birthday. Um, I will probably, so for those of you who are asking, the bag will be, we do have some extra. And so the bag will be on sale as merch after the conference. And I have a whole new product that I'm launching at the conference that I'm super excited about. It is a personal um endeavor that I have stepped out to do that I'm excited to share with you. And I know you're going to love it. It's a limited quantity, but I can't wait to share it with you at She Rose League. And I'm only going to, you're going to be the first to purchase it and the first to see it and the first to experience it. But it's so amazing. Upgrade your ticket to, yeah. So even if you yeah, upgrade your ticket to the full experience and, and enjoy the sessions online uh, on, on the virtual platform. Because I know somebody like, are y'all going to show it online? Are y'all going to show it online? You got to be at the experience. Hey, Yosh. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be good. All right, y'all. This has been good. I thank you all. I always enjoy um, hanging out with y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with me tonight on this good Thursday night. May the Lord God bless you real good. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious unto you. Uh, let me just pray with you before we leave. Father, I thank you for every person watching. I thank you, Father, that you give us the boldness to act and take bold steps of faith. That as we see the opportunity to develop, that we won't miss the moment, but we will make the decision to step out boldly and obey God. And we will experience the miraculous power that you have for us. And uh, Father, surround us with the right people. Father, we uplift She Rose League. Let your anointing saturate that place. That even when people hit the grounds or those who are watching virtual, that they will experience and encounter your presence even in their home and in their spaces. Father, we thank you in advance and we declare healing will manifest, breakthrough will take place, lives will be changed, and there will be a boldness awakened on the inside of each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, Shana, congratulations on your women's conference as well. I miss you too. And uh, I got to get, we got to connect so we could see, I can see all the, the babies and all that you're doing. So Congratulations as well on your women's conference. All right, y'all. She Rose League, April 24th through the 27th. Make sure that you register.